welcome back guys to another youtube tutorial it's sam and today we're creating a chat bot and this is just an introduction we'll make it really nice and simple so you understand everything we're doing i'll be explaining while i code and yeah hopefully you enjoy this if you're new to the channel please like subscribe to the channel please if you're new and you know what let's get started the workflow of this is that each step i'm going to explain the module we're using why we're using it and I also show you how you can improve the program to make it suit whatever needs you have. Chatterbot is a Python library that makes it easy to generate automated responses to a user's input. And Chatterbot uses a selection of machine learning algorithms to produce different types of responses. This makes it easy for developers to create chatbots and automate conversations with users. Now that we're getting started with Chatterbot, I recommend that you actually start by installing the latest version of Python Package Index. And I'll leave a link in the description for how you can install it. Because if you don't have the latest Python Package Index, which is also short for PIP, you won't be able to install Chatterbox. Because the way to install Chatterbot is that we'll write, we'll write PIP install Chatterbot. Now, I'm sure you're asking, oh, what kind of ID is this? This is an online notebook kind of ID that we can use. I'll leave a link in the description and all you need to do is when you click on the link, you just click on new notebook and you'll be able to write on Python and yeah. So hopefully you've created your own new notebook and you can also use whatever IDE you want. You just install pip, so you say Python install, you say pip install chatterbot. And the way you run it is you click right here. Now we can see that it's running. Before we do anything else, Chatterbot needs to be imported. The way we import Chatterbox is that we say from Chatterbot, import Chatbot. And please don't get it confused. Sometimes I say box instead of bot. I don't know. It's just been hard. I don't know why. The next thing, we create an instance of Chatbot class. This line of code has created a new Chatbot named Sam Codes. Now after that, what we do is we need to set the storage adapter. Now what is the storage adapter? Chatterbot comes with built-in adapter classes that allow it to connect to different types of databases. In this tutorial we'll be using the SQL storage adapter which allows the chatbot to connect to SQL database. By default this adapter will create a SQL light database. The database parameter is used to specify the path to the database that the chatbot will use. For this example, we'll call the database SQLite database.sqlite3. This file will be created automatically if it doesn't already exist. Specifying logic adapters, this is the next section now. The logic adapters parameter is a list of logic adapters. In Chatterbot, a logic adapter is a class that takes an input statement and returns the response of that statement. You can choose to use as many logic adapters as you would like. In this example, we'll use two logic adapters because I said it would be simple and I just want you to understand the whole concept. The logic adapters we're using is the time logic adapter that returns the current time when the input statement asks for it. And the second is the mathematical evaluation adapter that solves math problems that use basic operations. Now we get to the time of training with corpus data. This allows the chatbot to be trained using data from the chatterbot dialog corpus. Ch chatterbot comes with a corpus data and utility modules that make it easy to quickly train your bot to communicate. To do so, simply specify the corpus data module you want to use. And you might choose to do this if you want to train your chatbot from a data source in a format that is not directly supported by chatterbot. Your custom trainer should inherit chatterbot.trainers.trainer class. Your trainer will need to have a method named train that takes any parameter you choose. And that's going to be the part two. If you guys like this enough, I'll create a part two where we actually create our own trainer. But this is the basic, this is the introduction. Some people just run into it and copy tutorial, but I don't want that for you guys. I want you to actually understand what you're doing and understand the whole process. We'll say chatbot is equal to chatbot. I will put the name as Sam Codes. The next thing we'll put 
our storage underscore adapter set that equal to chatterbot dot storage dot sql storage adapt adapter and then the logic underscore adapter the logic adapter is equal to is equal to chatterbot dot logic dot mathematics of mathematical evaluation and chatterbot dot logic the best match. And then the database, the database URL is equal to SQLite database dot SQLite three. And this is not a curly bracket, this is just a normal bracket. And the way we do that, we'll say trainer is equal to chatterbot corpus trainer. And then inside there, we'll put chatbot. After that, we'll train the bot based on English corpus. Now you can use whatever language. You can use German, Spanish. This library is full of different languages. So, yeah, puss. Now we'll say trainer dot train train chatterbot dot corpus dot english now what we'll just do is we'll print a message It's going to be hello, and we're creating a new line, um, I'm Sam Codes bot. Hello, I'm Sam Codes bot. And I don't think there's any way of saying that that would make that sound less weird. Now we're gonna say, now we're gonna say, well, true, well, it's true. Want to try, bot underscore input, or bot underscore input equals to input. So that's basically giving me an input field so I can write. Then we'll say if bot underscore bot underscore input dot strip if bot if bot input if bot input dot strip is equal to stop so this is the way we're going to stop it and make the code stop running. Well, the stop has to be capital letter, but if you wanted that even small letter, it works. You can do dot lower. Then I want you to print a 
some codes and then we say buy after that we just break now bot underscore response is equal to chatbot dot get underscore response now we put bot underscore input after that what we just do is we print bot underscore response now we know we're using try so we need to put the accept we accept keyboard keyboard interrupt and also eo eof errors and also system exit after that we just break so now hopefully we don't get an error if we do it doesn't matter we find where the bug is because that's what programming is about you can see it's loading right now yeah so it says hello I'm Sam Codes bot and yeah the next thing I'll put hi and you can see this asking me how are you doing and I'll just put pretty pretty good thanks I can say that's good to hear see that's the thing I'm going to ask it a mathematical question because we gave it that ability to actually solve basic mathematics so I'll say what is seven times nine even I don't know that right now put a question mark you see it gives us seven times nine is 63 and after that remember the way we put we just say stop Oh, okay, that means there's something wrong with our code. It should stop. Oh, okay, the problem is I put dot lower. Oh, now I get why. I put dot lower. So it's always making it lower case. So if I put a capital S, it makes it lower. Oh my gosh, this is a big rookie mistake, but yeah, I found it out. So the way to just save that is I put a small stop. And now it should work. So just run it again. Wow, that was a very funny logic from me, but yeah, just forgot to change this. If I put dot upper, then even if you put a small letter, it will still stop because it would make that to a capital letter. So right now we're just going to test how we can stop it. So now if I put a stop like this, it should stop. You can see it says stop and then it says yeah I put the stop and then it says good Sam codes buy so now we see that it works and I use a capital stop actually would like to use a small two to just see it oh yeah I use the capital stop capital S and here you can see that we made it small everything so yeah it works well and down in the description below i'll leave a resource where you can take existing trainer classes on github so it has a lot of examples and i'll leave it down check the description so you can check that out and that's it for this tutorial guys hope you guys learned from it if you did please like subscribe to the channel because of the youtube algorithm it really helps me out it helps me know that i'm actually doing stuff that you guys appreciate and yeah i'm gonna wrap this up and I'll see you all in the next YouTube video.